Hello lovely people, welcome to True Food TV. I'm Nicole Jolly. Today I'm sharing with you an absolute staple in the Jolly household. It's an easy weeknight meal. It will give you leftovers for lunch. And if you're going to a potluck, this is the one to make. Zucchini feta pancakes. So you have a little less than a pound and a half of zucchini, basically two medium sized zucchini or three small ones. We have one cup of flour. Feel free to swap this out for gluten free flour mix. I've done it, works great. Three eggs, a big bunch of chopped up dill. Now here is where you can really customize this. I have done this recipe with every kind of herb. Basil, tarragon works beautifully, parsley, cilantro, do a mix of herbs, make it your own. And finally, we have six ounces of feta. I've gone as high as eight ounces, it just depends on how cheesy you want it, or what you have. This is a very forgiving recipe. If you have two eggs instead of three or less feta, you'll be fine. You can just adjust as you go along. This is a one bowl recipe. Everything gets dumped into one bowl. Once we have the batter, we will fry these pancakes in extra virgin olive oil. We start with the most difficult part of this recipe, which is pretty easy, and that's grating the zucchini. So first, you guys know that you don't have to cut off the blossom end, right? This is just where the blossom was. It's not woody, it's perfect. Go ahead and grate it. So if you have a box grater, I put it right on a plate to catch all the grated zucchini. And you're just gonna grate the entire zucchini on the big hole of your box grater. As you can see, you do not have to peel the zucchini. It all goes right in. Almost there. Okay, so just scrape all the zucchini from the grater. The key thing here is squeezing the moisture out of the zucchini. And we just don't want this to be mushy. We want it to fry up nice and crisp. You can do this over a colander in your sink. So this is not the usual way I do it. Just kind of fluff it up when you put it in your bowl. And then you just dump in all the rest of your ingredients. Let's start with these eggs that I'm just gonna break up in the bowl. And in it goes your feta, your herbs, and your flour. Use a wooden spoon, and you're just mixing until the flour disappears and you have a batter. And now we're ready to fry. Okay, so we're gonna turn on the heat. Get this pan nice and hot. Before we add our oil, I like to just like touch it. <laughs> if I have to take my finger away really quickly, it is hot enough. And I preheated this, so I'm gonna turn this down to medium. I'm gonna add my olive oil. You wanna cover the bottom of the pan with the olive oil. And you know it is perfect temperature when it starts to shimmer a little bit, and this will immediately sizzle. Okay, I spread it out into a misshapen, roundish kind of pancake. I don't believe in perfect. And you can make these pancakes big, you can make them small. Don't crowd the pan. I usually do about four in a big skillet like this. The little bits of zucchini that are poking out are going to get deliciously crispy, along with any feta that has hit the hot oil. We recently went and saw the olive harvest, which we made an incredible video about how extra virgin olive oil is made. You must go and see it directly after this video. And you're just going to let those fry. Do not poke at them or move them until you're confident that they are golden brown on the bottom. And then you're going to flip them to the other side. If it doesn't stick, you know it's ready. And that's what you're looking for, those lacy, crispy edges. Mm -hmm. 
I serve these with yogurt or you can do sour cream. If you're eating them for lunch, stuff them into a pita. Now, if you want even more easy, quick recipes using extra virgin olive oil, hop over to my other video, my top five tips and myths on extra virgin olive oil. See you there.